Welcome to Daily News Update. I'm Petty Officer Latrice Sams, and these are your headlines from around the fleet. The Secretary of the Navy Environmental Awards and Chief of Naval Operations Environmental Awards were held May 28th at the Navy Memorial. Each ceremony presented awards to installations, teams, or individuals for their environmental efforts and accomplishments. I'm honored to receive it on behalf of uh, the hardworking folks uh, back at Whidbey Island. There's a, we've got a team of about 140 plus uh, environmental managers working, working on the base uh, all over the place. All winners, except the small boat category of the SECNAV Awards, are competing for the Fiscal Year 08 Secretary of Defense Environmental Awards. Read the complete list of winners at Navy.mil. The Operational Stress Control Program shows sailors and their families how to recognize and manage stress. And what we found is that, that we needed to educate our force and our leaders in order to build resilience into the force and to provide that support to those individuals that are having difficulty with both the personal and the operational aspects of dealing with stress in their lives. The Navy is working with sailors around the fleet to reduce the stigma of seeking help for the emotional stress of military life. For more on the OSC program, log on to Navy.mil and use a link to hear the CMP's podcast. Admiral Ferguson also announced plans to expand the Navy's Perform to Serve, or PTS, program to all E6 and below with 14 years or less of service. The PTS expansion will begin June 1st. Read NAV Admin 161-09 for more information. For the Defense Media Activity Anacostia, I'm Petty Officer Latrice Ames.